life out here is just so different. It's a Monday night and it's so lively. I can live here because this is my type of life like We're going to Spain. Woo! Kitchen. Very cute kitchen. This Airbnb is very small, but we're in Europe, so everything is just very miniature. This is the little hallway, and then to the right here, we have the, we have the living room area. Very cute. Very, very cute. Further into the Airbnb, we have room number one. Very tiny, I'm telling you, these rooms are so small. Further, into the Airbnb, we have room number two. Very, very cute, very tiny, but this is it. Very cute. Bathroom number one. Cute, simple. And lastly, we have the last room of the Airbnb. Very cute, the nicest room, I would say. There's a little outside area as well. They're definitely gonna go out there. So, that is Airbnb number one. We were here for three days, so we can get a little bit comfy, but yay, yeah, gonna unpack a little bit and get myself together. Hello, Spain. We're in Spain. Uh, Y'all, that was the longest travel day of my life. 11 hour flight. When I tell you I don't know the itinerary, I just show up to family vacations and I just vibe <laughs> because I don't know anything going on. I just know we got some good stuff coming. My brother and my dad right now are at a Real Madrid soccer game. And me and my mom are just gonna start setting up the Airbnb, probably get groceries maybe. I don't know. We'll see what the rest of the night brings, but I gotta go to the bathroom, so. Okay, I found us a grocery store. The ingredients. <laughs> Let's see what the ingredients are looking like in Madrid, Spain. I didn't think about the fact that ingredients aren't gonna be in English. It looks fine. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. It's vegan. It's gluten free. It says vegan and gluten free. It says vegan and gluten free. Period. Europe is actually really good at labeling things so um salad some rice i feel like we should find strawberries though no 
Okay. Those look nice and fresh. Yeah, I mean, we could just buy one though for now. We can come back later if we need more. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. Or should I get steak? Is this steak? I can't tell. I don't really do steak, so I don't really know. We have located the gluten-free section. Let's see, gluten-free tortillas. I packed um, siete tortillas, so I don't think I need these, but... A lot of these have sugar in them, that's why I'm not getting them. But we got some options here. <laughs> Kept it pretty natural. Got some fruit, nuts, eggs, potato chips. I'm gonna eat those. Quick grocery haul. Got bananas, grapes, eggs, quinoa, meat. I think this is minced beef. Hummus, olive oil, potato chips. So I'm gonna eat some right now. Apples, onions, frozen vegetables. Salad, raspberry, cashews, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and peppers. That's all the groceries we got. Zara, um, so he can buy some clothes before the luggage gets here. I'm gonna tell him to buy me something. I never say much, but man, that's a lot to know. Feel like the difference between us really starting to show. Um, did do an outfit of the day for anyone who cares. My top is from Amazon. Shorts are from Urban Outfitters. Shoes, Adidas. Bag Zara. I feel like you guys have seen all of the stuff I'm wearing today at least. Or actually the shorts are new. But everything else? I've had in the closet, baby. Alright, let's shop. We're in the dressing room about to try something on. No. It's a no for me. They have an AliExpress store here. I had no clue that was a thing. I mean, boys, not even coming close. I gave like you a reason for celebration. You number one, and I'm Eddie Murphy. We traded places. Look in the mirror, I'm closer than I really appear. Creeping like chili without the tender love and care. No tender love and care, no love and affection. I got a price on my head, but there's a risk to collect it. I might be here as a vessel to teach people a lesson. Feel like they wanted me dead, but couldn't pull it together. Yeah. But here we are, and it's a new semester. 40, the only one that know how I deal with Mom, pressure. you think you're better than us? Because you're yeah. taking the stairs? <laughs> she thinks she's better than all of us. And she hikey is. I was going to say she is better than us. <laughs> Into them where we are right now. Uh, we're in Puerto del Sol. 
Okay. It's like a city center, like a downtown, I guess, or in the hood. Yeah. Center, like citywide. Yeah. A lot of people walk around, street performers, all that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Times Square of New York, but yeah. Spain edition. Yeah. Madrid, Spain edition. So. Yeah. Vibe. Just vibing out. Chocolate con um, churros. Para los dos es suficiente. My brother speaks Spanish. Es solo para aquí o uh, podemos... Para um, llevar. Sí. So what did you just order? Tell the people what you just I got. got uh, six churros with a cup of hot chocolate. So do you dip the, the churros in the hot chocolate? I believe that's the idea. I can't eat it, so it's on him. <laughs> But I'll show you guys what it looks like. And he'll give you a little yeah, yeah, yeah. chocolate and sure. You have to be very close. Deep clean. You roll it in there. If you have none, you have to be sure. Good. So let's see. Just go to my spot. Naked. Okay. I should just go to my spot while you sit here. Okay, good. This place oh, is God. dedicated gluten free, so I should find something I I'm just gonna wait until you eat to push your nose. Gluten free, dairy free, and soy free. <laughs> Dry. What's this again? Okay. It's like pistachio. It's like ginger in it, I think. Raisins. My pizza is here. I got bolognese. Pizza. No cheese. So it's just the bolognese with an egg and some vegetables and some mushrooms. Yeah, let's see how it's shaped. It's so thin. <laughs> see how thin it is? Quinoa. The crust is made out of quinoa. I don't know how to eat this, but it feels good. I have to do this. It's just okay. Fold it up to eat it because it's so good. Six. Oh, it's Five or six out of ten. I don't really like the quinoa mix. Bank of Spain. <laughs> We are currently at a park. I'm not really sure the name of it. Dad, what park are we at right now? Retiro. Parque de El Retiro. Retiro. Period. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna give this to my parents. And that's them right there on it. They took a picture of them walking <laughs> and then they handed it to them. I wish I got one. Yeah. Just walking around. Vibing. Can I can you take a video of me and mom over here?
Just going home. I think that's it for the day. For me at least, I'm going home to put my feet up. We've done at least 15,000 steps today. And I'm feeling it, I'm a little tired. Good morning, friends. I just woke up about to attempt to work out. Wish me luck. tell everyone you're better than them if you work out on vacation. That's my personal opinion. Who works out on vacation? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. I'm gonna make some of my Promix Deep Blow. Let me show y'all. I'm usually, let me close the fridge properly. I'm usually not a fan of any supplement that says de bloat on it because y'all know how I am. You don't get unbloated until you eat properly. But I am a fan of these. They work really well, weirdly enough. Um, it's just a little packet. They have a Florida orange, white peach, tropical mango flavors, um, clean ingredients, of course. Um, they're probiotics and prebiotics, and I really like them. You're supposed to take them on an empty stomach. Um, and I really like them. I'm really excited that I found a supplement brand that I feel like I can promote. That's really exciting for me. So, Promix. Code Orifit for 10% off. But I really like this, and it actually does make my stomach feel very, very good. This is the mango flavor. And it actually tastes good as well. It's always a plus. Yeah. So yeah, just wanted to put y'all onto that. Anyways, let's continue with the day. Quick outfit of the day, cause I like my outfit. Top is from Urban Outfitters, sales section. Jeans are from Urban Outfitters. Very cute and baggy. Sandals are from Urban Outfitters. Whole fit Urban Outfitters. Very cute. Face. Good morning. D-E-B-O-D. We are currently on the way to Temple of Debad. Quite the climb. So I don't know what that gift. is. It was a gift from the Egyptian government to the Spanish. There you go. That's the history behind it. So we're just walking. Quite the climb. Did I wear the right shoes today? No. But I already knew that was going to be the case. Beauty hurts. Beauty is pain. Here's the gift from the Egyptians. We are at the palace.
Empanada de pollo. How is it? It's delicious. Go ahead. It's top. Oh, I like that girl's bowl. Kiwi. Where did they put it? Oh, you could do your own mixed fruit bowl. No, oh, period. This is my spot. Oranges. What else? Thank you. Hola, buenas. This is, but it looks good, y'all. Hi, guys. I haven't really been able to check in, but we are at the food market. I'm stuffed. It was delicious. We were just browsing around. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Hey, everybody turn around. Turn around, Daddy. Daddy, turn around. Well, these streets because they remind me of Italy, and we went to Italy last year, and these streets are kind of giving me Rome, Italy vibes. So, Sorry, I'm taking your picture. very happy on the street. I just love Europe. Uh, from pretty view to pretty view. The streets of Europe, like I said, just make me so happy. They're just so walkable and lively and just colorful. I don't know really know how to describe it. Just very different from America. But currently, locating food for the family i think my mom and my brother are gonna eat somewhere and then my dad and my my dad and i are gonna eat somewhere i found a gluten-free mostly gluten-free mostly dairy-free location but we would have to take the train there so we're just walking over to my mom and my brother's food place and then heading over to mine i'm being a patient girl It looks so Spanish in the shoes. It's getting 50s. I'm still trying to find my style, but I feel like my. Thank you. 
Monday night and it's so lively like oh, you you are just out it's eating with friends you. like right ooh, are we going it's just different like life is just so different out here. <laughs> um, 
every time I come to Europe, I'm like, I can live here. Because this is my type of life, like, I'm not a fast-paced type of person, and I feel like that's super obvious in my vlogs. Like, I'm pretty calm, and you guys say that all the time. I'm a very calm person. I like to chill. That's why I don't think I can live in New York City. Like, I can come to New York. I can go to New York for, like, a little bit and enjoy it, but it's not for me just because it's so fast-paced, and I'm not a fast-paced person, like I just said. So places like Europe, honestly, and that's not shocking because I was born in Europe, by the way. I was born in England. Maybe it's just in my blood, but I... <laughs> I'm just, a, all I'm trying to say is basically I'm a slow-paced person. I like to chill, and Europe gives me those vibes every time I come here. Super chill, super lax, um, and I just love it. It's a good reset for me, but heading home now. I just committed the sin of gluttony at the restaurant we went to, <laughs> but no regrets at all. No regrets. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday, I think it is. We are packing up at this Airbnb and heading to Barcelona. It is about a six hour drive. I had no clue. I did not know until I asked my mom yesterday. And she was like, yeah, it's about a six hour road trip. Oh, clocked. So, I have been charging up all of my devices. Uh, also, by the way, I did not pack well for this trip. Look at what I'm wearing on this road trip. Okay. I didn't pack well, I really did it. I did not pack well at all. <clears throat> Where are the cozy clothes for the road trip? I didn't take a lot of things into it. I think I was depending too much on the Zara Barcelona. Cause that's a, it's, okay. So Zara Barcelona is like one of the places that I really want to go. Cause it's very monumental. It's like a super cool Zara. It's like multiple stories and it's like circular. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to Zara Barcelona. Get a whole bunch of things. And I'm not going to pack too much. Maybe four outfits. Yeah, I did. I needed more outfits and more casual outfits. That's fine. We're making do with my little honor workout top and my jorts. But yeah, so we're just heading out soon. My dad's getting the rental car. Just packing up a few last things. And then we'll get going. So I will check back in. Sandwiches that they make for kids when they cut up the crust. What kind of is it? Chicken. One of them is chicken. One of them is um. Curry. Like the chicken one is curry. One of them is like ham and cheese. One of them is like pesto with turkey. Yeah, I was gonna say I see pesto. Let me give you a tour of the second Airbnb. So you walk in and to the right you have the kitchen area. Very nice, very nice. We got stairs to go to the rooms, the dining room, living room area. And then you got the little outside area. Then we head up the stairs. To the left, we have my room. Very cute, very cute, very cute. To the right, we have my parents' room. And then here and here, we have two bathrooms. So right here and right here. And we have another floor. It's like a little room. Very cute. And then it's like a whole other living room. With an outside area as well. It's a pretty cute Airbnb. Three stories. But yeah, we made it. That was the longest drive of my life, but we made it. We made it. 
Hi friends, happy Wednesday. I am ready to go. We are exploring Barcelona today. Just wanted to intro the vlog for today. I mean, you can't really see it fully, but it's like a set of black. Better? Yeah, kind of, not really. It's too casual for the top, right? Something doesn't make sense, right? Oh. Um, yeah, it's like a set, so it's like a collared crop with a skirt. I'll move it a little bit. I'll show a different angle. That's it. That's why it's It's a different angle. It's a little set. Honestly, don't know if they'll go together. I got it on Zara, and I saw the skirt, and I was like, I need to find a top. So I found the top, and they actually kind of went together. Like, they, it looks like a set. I don't think it is, but it looks like it. But this is the outfit. Hi friends. So we are in Barcelona now. In the city. We are here. Just getting some food. There's an honest greens here. And I'm not in the mood to look for anything else I can eat. I just want a good salad, guys. I really just want a good salad. So we're just gonna go over there to get some lunch, breakfast slash lunch. So we're just walking and then we're gonna do some touring. But first food. Back at Honest Greens like I never left. So I got something different today. We got steak chimichurri, salad, and then falafel on the side. <laughs> staring at me. Staring at me. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, everyone was staring, I had to do that. I did, I pointed it to you. <laughs> Salad looks good. She's always patient with us when we're eating. That's yeah, this yeah, yeah. Is it good? Honest Greens is only in Spain. Oh, in London. Oh, in London. In Lisbon. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. 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 In the filato, the so, uh, the white tahini. Tahini. Okay. I think it was chickpeas. Do you like it? Yeah. So now we are walking to the market. It's called the Pocarilla. That's what my brother said. One thing about me, I'm gonna I'm try to pronounce it correctly. Okay. But yeah, so we're walking to the market. I love markets. I can't really eat at them necessarily, but I like just looking at all the food and stuff. Is it? Yeah. The lighting isn't good here. We have to wait. Yeah. Um. Lots of tourists, but I'm liking the vibes. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, it's just so cute. Little alleyways. I love it. So it's actually La Bocaria. I think I said Bocaria. It's Bocaria. Yeah, With a B. B -O I said Bocaria. So, my bad. Correction. Um, but here we go. Let's see what we're gonna see. You excited, Ed? You're annoying. <laughs> I think they put chocolate on these strawberries if you want. Chocolate, mommy? Oh, nuts. 
Guys, look at these. They're potatoes. Potato chips. On a stick. Potatoes on a stick, y'all? Crazy. This place is like really a market. Like they sell a lot of fish and uh, meat, uh, fruits. There's not as much like hot food to eat and buy. It's a lot of it's an actual like market to buy produce and such. Interesting. What did you get? Uh, una empanada, de pollo, y patata. Period. We are at the Barcelona waterfront now. So we're just on a bridge trying to buy a bunch of water. It's like a port area as well. There's boats. But. Mom got a crepe with Nutella. Okay, go ahead and taste. How is it? Very nice. Yay. They have some gorgeous, gorgeous yachts on the shoreline over here. Oh my gosh, the ones over there? Crazy. I want to get on a yacht. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever been on a yacht before. I don't think I have. Hmm. Dubai. Catch me on a yacht when I get to Dubai one of these days. We are currently on our way to one of those things that like, how do I explain it? I just have to show you um, when you get on one of those things and it kind of just like takes you, it's like a, a view and you're like riding across. Let me see if I can show you. So we're doing this guys. Where y'all see that thing? That's what we're going on. <laughs> I don't know how I convinced them, but I was like, I want to go on that guys. And here we are. It's a long walk to get here, so hopefully it's worth it. Climbing up a hill. Oh Lord. My feet are done. My feet are so done. My legs are done. We're climbing up a hill to a castle. And then we'll get back on that little ferry and go back into town. But y'all, my feet. Because apparently I'm the crazy one of the family, and I said I'm not walking no more. We are off to the monumental Zara. It is. Is this the biggest Zara ever, or one of the biggest? One of the biggest Zaras, and it like looks really cool. So I'm about to show you guys, but we're here. Go shopping. So the Zara is three floors. Very cool.
What do we think, guys? These are the two items that I picked out. The top and the pants. What do we think? Yeah. We are checking out right now and they just put our clothes in here and we're just checking out, just like that. That's in this, right? That's how they check out here in Spain. Everything is more advanced out of America. Just saying. Just saying. Perfect. Maybe you finish. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, wait, mom. I want to spray that one. A lot of these smell really good. I don't like that one. They don't fit, but they're cute. I think I'm going to try to ask for my size. They're cute. Yeah? Things are now headed over right across the street to Urban Outfitters. Y'all know I love me some Urban Outfitters. Like, ah, I love Urban. I'm trying this top on, and I think it's so funny because I was gonna buy this for the trip online. But it's so cute. A little split right here. So cute. I'm definitely getting it. I just love. Yeah. Hi friends, it is time for dinner. Restaurants here are so interesting because the restaurant we're about to go to doesn't open until 8 p.m. <laughs> it's currently 7.54, so we're walking over there. It's called Avocados. It's a gluten-free restaurant, um, but they have a lot of dairy-free options, soy-free options, so I'm just gonna hope for the best because one thing about my family, we can go back to the same restaurant over and over and over again if it works. So. We could go back to Honest Greens every day, but I'm like, let's try something different. <laughs> we don't need to be getting salad every day while we're in Barcelona. Let's try other restaurants. So, we're going to Avocados. Avocados. This is what the menu is looking like. I really like this because it shows exactly what allergens could possibly be in the foods and it has literally everything so for me it's soy dairy and then gluten but this whole restaurant is gluten free um but i'm getting the low temp beef tacos
how fast I react when I have something that I'm not supposed to. This right here is a hive. I only get hives like that when I have dairy. So something in my food had dairy in it. Even though it didn't say it had dairy. Maybe contamination. It might be cross, it might be cross because you have a lot of dairy in the, in the menu. There's a lot of dairy in everything. What if I look on dairy by your environment, see? It really took a couple of minutes for this to happen. This is why I eat the same thing over and over again. We're going back to... <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to what's it called? Um, trusted. Trusted. No, it's not called trusting. <laughs> what's honest greens? We're going back to honest greens for the rest of this trip. I don't even care. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this at all. Honest greens. Um, it's gonna be my best friend for the rest of this trip because this place was delicious, and I still don't think there was anything wrong with the food. But I think it was like cross contamination or something because. There's no dairy in my food. Like there's literally, it's just meat. Meat, red onions, cabbage, and guac. Unless there's like, yeah. Maybe there's something they used to mix the meat. But it still said dairy, there's no milk in the thing. Hi friends, okay. So what I'm learning about Europe is that just because something is lactose free, doesn't mean it's dairy free. And I think that's what I'm learning because a lot of restaurants experience. this happened in italy too where i ordered something that was lactose free thinking okay that's dairy no there's still dairy in it i'm fully like dairy free like i can't have any dairy milk butter anything but i don't know it's different out here in europe left yeah, it's different out here in europe like lactose is like i don't know lactose and dairy are just different and that's what i'm learning but i'm all good my little bump is going down I used to have like the worst anxiety ever when I get any type of like hive after eating something. But I think I'm better. I handle it a lot better. I'm like, it's gonna go down. I don't need to take a Benadryl every single time that happens. It naturally kind of goes away by itself. It's just my body telling me like, girl, we just ate some dairy, girl. But yeah, my body is severely sensitive to dairy. Like when I say I'm allergic, I mean it. Like people think I'm kidding. People think I don't have dairy as like a diet type of thing. No, I'm allergic. I will get hives so that was just a live um, reaction to me having dairy but on the way back to honest greens to get a little cookie because after the day I've had I deserve a cookie so they were out of my chocolate chip cookies it's just not my night is it but I got this instead it's like a raw chocolate cake um, so let's have a try it's pretty good nothing special really Ugh. hi friends the way I'm so exhausted but just got home, about to call it a day. Wanted to give you guys a haul of my Zara and Urban Outfitter pickups. So I think I got three tops from Urban. I got this one from Jaded Urban, but it's from Jaded London. Oop, you can't see it. I just thought it was very cutesy. What size is this? Size six. I just thought it would be cute. I might wear something that I bought today, tomorrow. Actually, sorry, no. I'll, I know what I'm wearing tomorrow, but either way, I got this top, very cute. Just a simple white top. Next, I got this like corset type top. It was in the sales section and I thought it was cute and I thought it would go with a lot of things, so I got it. I think she's cute last thing I got from Urban was this top and it's funny because I was going to get this top for the vacation when I was looking on the Urban Outfitters website a few weeks ago but didn't get it so I saw it in the store and I got it. It's so cute. I have to wear it for you guys to see eventually but it has such a cute like cut off 
in the front and it like it stops right where my belly button piercing is and like splits it is so cute it'll be so cute with like low-rise jeans or something or a low-rise skirt now for Zara I got that set that I showed you guys but I got more I got these heels I thought they were so cute I couldn't pass them up I saw them guys look at them there's something about pointy heels and flats for me these days. I got a perfume, Wonder Rose. I like Zara perfumes. I think they smell good. I have a few already. This one's really like sweet, sweet rose is kind of the vibe it gives me. Um, so I'm excited to have that. And then I got this set that I showed you guys. I think that's it. Yeah, but this top and then the pants that went with it. I kind of want to buy a pair of like sneakers while I'm here. There's a pair of New Balances that I've been wanting, so maybe we'll sell the Foot Locker tomorrow. I'm not sure. I need to check my bank account, how that's looking. I'm not sure. Because you know how when you're on vacation, you don't really look at your bank account and you deal with it when you get home? I don't want to be like that because we are saving up. I'm trying to be smart with my money these days, so maybe we'll get shoes, maybe not, but I'm gonna call it a night, get ready for bed. We have an early morning tomorrow. We have more exploring Barcelona activities. I think we have more of, a, of like a tour-like situation tomorrow, so I think we have to get somewhere at a specific time. Um, but I'm excited to bring you guys with me as always. Um, don't miss me too much. I will be back in 0 0.1 seconds. Love you. See you in a sec. Good night. See that building? Whoa. Sagrada Familia. Here's the building. It's crazy. Church. Church. a lot of stairs. Oh, why ain't they dragging it? We're going down. I think there's two other checkpoints that we're stopping at. This slash lunch. Y'all already know where we're going, so I'm not even gonna say anything. Huh? Why are you whispering? Was that whispering? Yeah. They can't hear me. Sorry. I'm trying the strawberry ginger lemonade. All of their drinks don't have um refined sugar. All naturally sweet. 
Ah, oh, okay. Stick it. Yeah. Thank you. We got hummus to share with celery sticks. And then me and I, my dad got the same thing, but he got salmon and I got steak. trying on these shoes. I've had my eye on these shoes for a minute. Okay guys, as I was walking out, I saw these ones. I've been wanting these shoes so bad, so. I already checked out with the other ones, but I might return them and get these, but I'm gonna try them on first. back home what a journey it was I mean every day is a journey when you're in Europe honestly I'm so tired just the amount that you walk it's just like yes I have not worked out since that one day that I worked out but I feel like I've worked out every single day while I've been on this trip because of all the walking I wanted to show you what I got from New Balance so I did end up switching out the shoes that I originally bought we'll get those another time but when I saw these I was like Sorry, I'm getting them. I've been looking for this color for a minute now. And I didn't want to get the shoes until I got this color. Um, either these ones are just the black and silver ones. But the red is just, it was calling my name. And y'all know I'm a New Balance girl through and through. So I had to get my New Balances out here. That's it for the day. I think just going to start packing up because we're going to... Where are we going? off to Valencia tomorrow so just gonna start packing up for the road trip tomorrow three hours to Valencia and we have a lot more stuff to pack up this time since I did shopping actually here I will keep y'all updated but for now relaxing I'm gonna go take a shower and relax and then pack up bye Barcelona off to Valencia we made it to Valencia at our new Airbnb, so let me show you guys around. So here we have the door. To the left here, we have the first bathroom. The hallway. First room to the right here is mine. Obviously for a kid, but I guess I am the kid of the family, so <laughs> I don't mind taking this one walk in to the left we have the living room and the kitchen area very nice they left us a bottle of wine the other place also left us a bottle of wine I must have missed it but very nice and then over here on the right there's the second bedroom third bedroom Third bedroom is the main room and it has a bathroom over there and it has a very big closet over here. That's our third and last Airbnb tour. We are currently in Valencia still, the last day. I'm um, gonna do a bit of touring, 
um, and just seeing around the city. I really like Valencia so far. So let's see how this last day goes. I want to show you guys my outfit today. So I have this top from Urban Outfitters. Um, I just love this. So cute. And I just love the cut of the top. So cute. Skirt also from Urban Outfitters. It's a maxi skirt with slits on the side. Not sure if you can see that. Super cute. Um, and it's have like a belt on it. Super cute top. Super cute bottoms. Um, that's it really. And then my shoes are my Also from Urban Outfitters, whole outfit from Urban Outfitters. I already know what's up, but I feel cute today. We're ready to go. Have the last, enjoy the last day in España. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it, but let's go embrace this last day. We are currently walking to the Arts of Science building of Valencia, Spain. I'm about to show you what the building looks like. center now I need a little bit of something to hold me over because I haven't eaten anything today so we're gonna go to honest serene's and I'm gonna get an iced coffee with something small just to hold me over um, so that I have some energy for walking around the city yeah. Pistachios, that's what it says. Right there. So we're gonna try our dessert. What did you get? I don't know. Floor Kinda. Making a mess. You want some? No. It's nice. What do you think? It just tastes like dates and pistachio. Nothing special. <laughs> Keeping it real. Hi fam. Just 
checking in. Walking the streets, as you've seen. I love it here. Again, reminds me of Italy. But, so beautiful. Guys, it's my last honest greens. For now, until I come back to Spain, or I go to London, or I go to Lisbon, I think it's at. But for now, in Spain, this is my last. Your last one is green, how do you feel? Oh, it's gonna be missing. I'll miss this. I'll miss this. I don't even know what I'm getting at, because the line is always long here. Every time we've come, the line has been super long. I don't even look at what I want until I'm like close to the front, but. Goodbye to Spain, the best way possible. At the beautiful Valencia So gorgeous. God is amazing. Out of your basement.